Full Body Worlds and the Brain. It's an expedi- a- exhibition that contains more than 200 real human specimens, including about 20 full body plastinates. That's what it's called. We're going to talk about it, as well as individual organs. Really cool. Well, this thing's all about the brain. It's about the brain function, the way you uh, learn, the way it develops, and, and how you're able to basically use this in so many different ways. I think it's fascinating. Let's bring in our guest, if we could. We shall. This is Dr. Angelina Wally, and she is the Body World's creative and conceptual designer. She's kind of a big deal. And as the director, Director of the Institute of, it's called Plastination in Heidelberg, you have promoted the exhibitions and made it possible. Their presentation, nearly 25 million people so have two seen. Already. 32 How million. 32, it's going up as we I speak. See, I told you, five, five okay, three. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also should point out that you are married to the creator of Body World, Dr. Gunther von Hagens. Ooh, I'm mm-hmm. impressed. So the two of you together, pretty impressive. Well, welcome. We Thank appreciate you. you being on a show. Um, let's talk in, just in generalities what people are going to experience. As we look out even beyond um, our cameras, we can see that on, on this opening day, so many people are already taking advantage of the opportunity to come and see what's inside our bodies. Absolutely. Body World is all about us. It's about our inner workings. And by showing real anatomical specimens that are beautiful to look and permanently preserved by a technology called plastination, we show all our body organs, we show regular organs and diseased ones in direct comparison that you, for instance can see what a smoker's lung look like, what cancer looks like, what the hardening of the aorta looks like. You know, all the things that you learn about so much today and may you, you have family members who suffer from mm-hmm. that, but you as a lay person have hardly any chance to ever really see and grasp what it is. And Body Worlds is all about that. It unveils the beauty and the fragility of our body by looking at real anatomical specimens. It's interesting that you say fragility of the body because Annie and I were walking around and I, my breath was taken away because mm-hmm. we saw uh, um, obviously the, the adult specimens. We also saw little babies. Right. Yes, we have a section that is dedicated to, to the prenatal area that starts with a tiny little piece of tissue that's at the stage of four weeks and we show how it grows rapidly until eight weeks. At the end of the eight weeks, you should know that all the organs are already in place and it is not bigger than that. It's amazing. I would think this is a really good kind of classroom. I mean, what you can't see is there are a lot of kids on field trips here and I bet this is going to be really, really popular. You know, it definitely beats reading a textbook. I mean, they can actually see it and learn and I mean, that's how I learn is visually. Well, being a physician by heart, I'm really particularly happy when young children come and see how they are made up because they have all their life still to come. And it's so important for them to learn what makes us ill and how we can maintain our body shape better f- throughout our entire life. Now, I know that the last time you were here was 2007, and I remember my husband begged and pleaded, let's go down there, let's go down there. Well, we never made it, and I'm so glad that we had this opportunity this time. What would be the difference to people who have been um, through the exhibit, the Body Worlds exhibit, a so couple the years ago? exhibition we have now in this place is completely different compared to the one last time, though so none of the exhibits that is on display today was here in 2007. In addition, it comes uh, with a theme on the brain, which is woven throughout the entire exhibition. Why the emphasis, though, on the brain? Well, to me, the brain is the most intricate and wonderful organ we have. That's an organ that shapes our lives and our future uh, like no other organ. And um, at the same time, anatomically, it's really difficult to understand. It does not really unveil its functions by just looking at. Uh, And my goal was um, to show how the brain functions and the nervous system. It's not just the brain. It's all the nerves that run through our entire body, maintain and sustains our bodies. And to, uh, yeah, to make this more obvious. Well, I guess that was sort of my next question is what do you hope people get out of it, but you just answered it. I don't know if we can see the ring man behind us, but one of the questions that I had was, I mean, we are seeing, this is called a, pl- a plastinate, right? Right. And everything that you're seeing here, I would say 99.9%, is this actual person, like everything from the skin, the muscles, nothing's been removed from one person to another. This is the actual this is absolutely okay. real, and the only thing that is not real is um, the replacement of the tissue water. That's actually the uh, concept of the plastination technology behind it. We replace the tissue water against, in this case, silicone. But when you would look uh, through a microscope, 
you would still see individual cells and the cell cores. So the musculature portion and the bone is the authentic, but the, sk the skin is transformed to create... It's the real more thing. More detailed. <laughs> it's really the real, the thing. real thing. It's the real tissue. Just what it's replaced is the water. Right, okay. And so we consist about of 60 to 70 percent of water. Right. That's well, I'm place. glad we're ending on that because we're going to go in more detail about the plastination process because I'm fascinated to figure out how it is you're able to caps, you know, capture this literally millisecond in time of a swinging of a bat or a yoga pose or, you know, you know flexing a leg. It's just incredible. So thank you so much for thank spending time with us. Thank you very much. My no pleasure. We're going to talk to you again yet. <laughs> Um, the Body Worlds and the Brain is right here at the Arizona Science Center. It is open for a limited engagement. In fact, tickets cost $25 for non-member adults, and then members will pay only $13. The website to get all sorts of information is www.azscience.org, and their phone number there on your screen, 602-716-2000.